A team from the US Department of Homeland Security in New York as Mayor Eric Adams seeks help with the city's migrant emergency. He estimates the current surge of asylum seekers will cost the city more than 12 billion US dollars over the next three years. Next to New York JFK's air cargo terminals, you'll find a building that normally serves as a postal facility. But because of New York City's ever worsening migrant crisis, it now serves as a temporary home for some 750 male asylum seekers. A space typically dedicated to sorting mail during the holidays is now a massive dormitory. The parking lot, bathrooms and showers, the loading dock, a makeshift prayer room. Initially, a lot of the folks coming here were from Venezuela. We now in a lot of these places have 12, 14, 15 different languages spoken. We have a lot of people from parts of Africa, Central South America, some people from Eastern Europe, Asia as well. Every day we have about 500 people, four, three to 500 people that we're looking for room for, looking for places for. Um, we can't open up sites fast enough. So you can see this is sort of the layout here. We modeled this after the emergency storm shelters we set up for coastal storms. Uh, those are designed just to house people for generally 48 to 72 hours. We now have folks that are staying in these facilities for much longer, upwards of, you know, a month, month and a half. Iskul admits the facility is not ideal for long-term housing, but with options running out, residents are making do. Some skip the laundromat and air dry their clothes. Then there's this makeshift barber shop on the main floor, only room for one client at a time. But none of this is sustainable, according to Iskul and his fellow city officials. Finding migrant families private shelter space is a whole other challenge. At the city's primary intake center in Manhattan, we met Sorielis Mistaje, where she waits to be assigned long-term housing for her family. We don't know where they'll place us, says the Venezuelan mother. Like many of the nearly 100,000 asylum seekers who have arrived in New York since last spring, the only guarantee is uncertainty.